Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. Now, I'm just going to talk to you. Or whisper to you. responsible for you sleeping and my suggestion is that you get yourself very comfortable before proceeding so maybe press the pause button if you need to yourself, I don't know if it is worth remembering that you can change the position of your body at any time, it's about comfort, comfort first, that's the most important thing for you to feel comfortable, that's why these recordings are really good for people that have chronic pain issues but I don't mention that in the title but they're very good for that because these sessions are very relaxing and relaxation reduces pain the more relaxed your body is your mind is the more relaxed that part of your body that may have chronic pain is so it's hard to include everything and all the benefits in a session otherwise the title would be deep sleep whisper relaxation pain relief anxiety relief stress relief help with panic attacks help with changing limiting beliefs uh, moving from uh, depression just like so many different things that can be gained from listening to these recordings or any of my recordings there's a big overlap on all of them and I guess that can only be experienced by listening and once you listen regularly things start to change things in your life start to change you may find that you deal with situations much calmer than maybe you used to you may find that you have more enjoyment than perhaps you have done for a while in certain aspects of your life you find that you have more confidence within yourself and your ability to do things that you wish to do maybe more confidence in your own future so it's it's hard to put that all in one title ideally I would make one podcast 
example you may let's say somebody wants to lose weight and they decide that they're going to start eating healthier food you know getting rid of the sugar sugar stuff processed food and starting to eat more fresh food and in the process they lose some weight so they've achieved the outcome that they set out for themselves but so many more benefits come with that self-confidence self-belief that you can actually do something that you set your mind on self-belief that you can achieve something that you never thought possible so what else can you do what other things have you limited yourself from doing thinking that it was too difficult or that you weren't intelligent enough when actually you are and you always have been so it's so many benefits feeling better as well feeling healthier so there's more than just what's on the tin as it were from an outsider's perspective this is just a sleep session and chances are people that want to lose weight or have problems with chronic pain or have issues with self esteem may not listen to this because they don't see how it would help but it will it all helps so many people that go and they do stuff and they say oh that didn't help and I've tried everything and then eventually I did yoga and that's the thing that helped but they're discounting all the benefits that they have gained along the way from maybe trying lots of other different things like counselling hypnotherapy, reiki, reflexology, aromatherapy, massage, meditation, exercise, diet, writing, you know, it's, the list is fairly endless. sleeping and we've got this big mind and I'm talking about the brain the organic brain because that's where all this stuff happens that's where the automatic stuff happens Breathing, blood pumping through your body, the healing process, the growth, you know, the hairs growing, the skin repairing itself, the organs repairing themselves and all the things, you know, the kidneys, the liver. automatic automatically controlled by your brain and we could focus 
those on the part of your brain responsible for, let's say, your right foot. And you could just ask your brain just to lightly stimulate that part of your brain to your right foot. Just let it know that it's listening to so talk directly to the part of your brain for your right foot. I'm not asking the brain to do anything or that part of your brain to do anything. But you can notice you can feel your right foot. And you can ask brain to do things. For example, I'm going to ask your brain, the part of your brain responsible for your left foot, just to feel more relaxed. the part of your brain responsible for your eyes, the muscles in your eyes, both your right and your left eye, those muscles, I'm going to ask that part of your brain to relax the muscles in your eyes.
nicely. 